it ain't really no big deal about it, but uh, shut up, CB. This is a slow process, man. It's a slow process. They gotta put, like, especially if you get behind some other trucks. They got a then it takes forever. I had like three trucks in front of me when I got there. They put some. Uh, they gotta put the plastic on the on the on the floor of the trailer. Then they put the, the, the veneer up there. It's like, if y'all ain't never hauled veneer, it's like, it's like thin slices of lumber, but they're like real thin stacked on top of each other. I think they might use it on like dressers or something. It's like shiny, shiny wood. But they gotta put the plastic on the, on the trailer. Then they load it up. Then you got somebody come check it. Then they put plastic over the trailer. Well, over the load, then you gotta throw the straps and tarping. Because if you try to put the tarps on before you strap it, it'll just pull the plastic off. They'll get pissed off because the plastic came off. I would have been, I would have been in my receiver by now, but I just blew out a trailer tire right there, um, right there in Florence on 20. Blew out a trailer tire. I think I was about about 20 miles from Petro when it blew out. So I put my flashes on, creeping on down to the Petro. I was actually going to I was actually going to take the load home. That's what I was going to do. I was going to take it home and then get up in the morning and drop it off. But since that that set me behind like an hour and a half, so. It would have been out of the way. It would have, it would have been too much time wasted. I could have went home, but uh, it would have slowed me down for tomorrow. And then my 10 hour break wouldn't have been up to like nine o'clock in the morning. And I still would have had to drop the load off. Then I gotta be in Columbia, South Carolina tomorrow. Pick up some pipes. It's gonna be ready at 11. I ain't wanna get there like two, three in the afternoon. I want to be there by maybe 12. I should be there about 12 more. Y'all see that moon? I can't see it too good. It's up above. It's up above. Woo! Boy, it's tired. That's why I started talking. I ain't too tired, but I'm tired enough. Get this left lane, right lane, close the head. Night drive. I just did a drive for gold training today on the, on the drive for gold website. About, the question was about speed. And one of the questions up there was like, it was like a true or false question. It was like, at nighttime, do you increase speed because of less traffic? Y'all know the answer to that. I'm gonna repeat the question. At nighttime, do you increase speed because of less traffic? True or false? How many of y'all got it right? You know good and damn well that shit ain't true. <laughs> At nighttime, you gotta slow down because of decreased visibility. Like right now, this construction zone can't see, can't really see too much. I might have cut my bright lights on after these cars go by. Decreased visibility. There's a lot of cars over there. This, this highway I'm on right now is on US 74. It runs, well, I'm not sure how far it runs, but I know in North Carolina it runs from Wilmington to Charlotte. And I don't know what's past Charlotte where it takes you in. Maybe it might take you to Kings Mountain or somewhere like that. I'm not sure. Turn the brights on. Get some, get some increased visibility. Get up out of this construction zone. I just went through one in uh, Dillon, 
North South Carolina on 95. Like, man, why do they got these bright ass, why do they got those bright ass lights? Well, I know why they got them. So they can do construction work at night. But those fucking bright ass lights. Got my bright zone now, I had that construction zone. They got those bright ass lights on. Then they're blind you while you're driving. Hey, I 
I can't compare it to the garments because I never had a garment. Have, have I had issues with it? Yes, I have. I've had to reset it since I since I've had this Ramonelli. I had about a year, maybe a little over a year. I've had to reset it twice. First time was probably about probably about four months ago. I was up in Ohio. I don't know if that's what messed it up. Maybe I don't know if it wasn't used to me going different places. And I froze it up. It froze up somehow when I was up in Ohio. But luckily, I was all on the interstate for like 800 miles. So I ain't drive. I, when it when it froze up, I only had like I had like 500 miles of all the interstate. So I had time to um, get to the truck stop that night and reset it. Ran the hotspot for my phone. Cause you gotta be on Wi-Fi when you when you reset it, or when even when you first buy it, you gotta connect the Wi-Fi to set it up. It takes about well, I say connect it to the mobile data on your phone it takes about 30, 45 minutes. At your house, on a good connection, it might take about 10 minutes. Yeah, well, it's still gonna take longer than that. Cause even after you download all the stuff you gotta have. It still has to install it. And that, yeah, that takes about 20 minutes just for it to install. And then just last week, when I was going to Tampa, I was sitting at the Petro getting get my fuel pump, not my fuel pump, my, uh, my water pump changed. I reset it that day. Because it froze up. Yeah, so it's only froze up on me twice in, within a year. If you don't, I mean, you, you'll you be thinking like, they ain't no helping it. Like, you're like, man, I wasted my money. But yeah, you reset it. It's like, it's like bread, like, like it's fresh out of the box. And that video that I made at Temple, if y'all remember that video, that part when I was driving to the receiver, I actually had the subtitles on the screen. It was like, I got a new voice on my GPS. You can recognize a new voice since it, uh, since it updated. Yeah, every time I rebooted it, I got a new voice. But this time, the volume is not that high like it was before. Yeah, I can. I turn it all the way up, still can barely hear it. But I ain't, I ain't gonna reset it again. Yeah, man. But if you go on the Hornady, that's where my dog going. You going? To, yeah, they don't have GPS in their trucks. So yeah, if you wanna. You want to follow an atlas or get one of those uh, little apps and trucker paths whatever well I, I i advise everybody use the hammer the hammer gps well, you know some people use a hammer gps you know they still they were going to launch it a couple months ago but coronavirus kind of slowed it down so i'm not sure exactly how well it's working once they email me back i'll I get a good review on it to try it out. But uh, you know some guys use truck path or truck smart. Which up one you use? But, but you know that, that's running off your cell phone. If you only got one cell phone, that's gonna hinder you from you know talking on the phone or doing whatever else you need to do. So I got two phones, so it wouldn't be no big deal for me. I like I like having my separate truck GPS. Hey, I love that thing, man. Hey, if, if I ever if I'm ever at a truck stop and I forget to lock my doors or something or anything was to happen, and I happen to walk back to my truck, and see somebody trying to steal my GPS, I'm telling you that it's not gonna be a good day for you. Cause, hey, I trust that GPS of my life. If somebody was to try to steal my GPS, it would not be a good day. But let's let's hope we'll get to that point. Or maybe y'all maybe maybe y'all feel like you know anything in your truck that belongs to you. If somebody tries to steal it, yeah, that, that would not be good. Hey, positive vibes on. We're gonna try to keep it positive. Man. Got a vehicle in 
front of me going 54. Why are you going so slow, buddy? I'm trying to get right south, so I'm blind. When I shoot past them in the hammer lane. Yeah, they, they only going 54. Stuff though. 
So they had to wait in line for their little stuff, but I was the only one there with angle iron. So I got up out of there, got unloaded, called my deal. <sighs> my deal was like, we don't got any loads right now to get you to Columbia. So she was like, you know, stand by, see what they come up with. So I was like, all right. I stood by for like an hour and a half before they finally got me a load. It didn't seem like it took an hour and a half, but it did. I went inside the truck stop, got me some iced coffee, some Dunkin' Donuts, and a pile of the pile. Got me some iced coffee, drunk that. Walked in circles a little bit. You know how you do at the truck stop, walking in circles, looking at stuff, keep looking at the damn, the damn electronics and shit. But I took, okay, I took a shower before I did that. I took a shower first, then I walked around with the iced coffee. Then I went back to the truck, sat there for a few minutes. I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna get some breakfast. This is, how, this is how early it was now. They were still serving breakfast at Wendy's. I think when, I think breakfast might be over like 9.30 or 10. I went back inside the truck stop, got me some Wendy's breakfast. Hey, if y'all ain't had that Wendy's breakfast, I highly advise you to try it. I got the breakfast bacon data. I've only had Wendy's breakfast twice. And both times I had it, I got the, I got that damn, uh, breakfast bacon later. Next time I might try something different. But if, but if y'all ain't had it, they come with potato wedges. They don't come with a hash brown. I got potato wedges. Hey, those things are delicious. They're crispy. They got pepper on them. Good as hell. So by the time I ate, ate my breakfast and sat in the truck eating it, you know you can't sit in there and eat. By the time I finished my breakfast, uh, sat there about 15, 15 more minutes. My DM called, was like, hey, we got a load out of Madison going to Wilmington. Drop that in Wilmington, dead head to Columbia tomorrow. I was like, bet. And this load paid pretty good. This load paid 900, I wanna say 900 on 350 miles, something like that. 88, 88 to talk. Hey, I was like, yeah, I'll take that. Better than dead headed to Columbia for free. Cause I drove right past Columbia to get where I'm at now. So, hey, make a little money, turn around, do the same thing tomorrow. That's something, that's something, you know, that's something I want to tell y'all too, man. Like, don't get discouraged when you when you get these rates and it be like, let's say, I'm gonna throw a crazy rate out there. Let's say $800 for 400 miles, something like that. That's like $2 a mile. But you know you gotta take your little percentage out. Let's, let's go even more drastic. Let's say $800 on 500 miles. And you'll be like, I ain't running 500 miles for $800. Hell, I wouldn't wanna do it either. Well, you know, sometimes you ain't got no choice. But let's say, if you were run 500 miles for $800, like I said, sometimes you don't got a choice. But if you waste time, you turn the load down, and then you waste time, you sit there two, three hours waiting on another load. By the time you get another load, it's something you gotta wait till, wait till the next day to pick up. But let me ask you this. That same load that pay 800, 500, 500, 500 miles, you like, I ain't doing that shit. But then, but, but you'll run an 800, $800 load for 400 miles. Let me ask you this question. Do those, hundred, do those hundred more miles really make a difference in your driving? They don't make too much difference. That, that extra hundred miles ain't gonna really make a difference. Ain't that what, what, another hour and a half of driving? How much, how much effort did that take? It didn't take much effort to drive another hour and a half. All you're doing is hitting the damn gas pedal. So I'm not, I'm not saying, you know, y'all should just settle for cheap freight. I ain't saying that. What I'm saying is, 
right now times are hard. Like you want to complain about now eight hundred dollar loads? Let me tell you something. If you run three loads for eight hundred dollars, most of the time, most of the time, if you if you run it for eight hundred dollars, it's gonna be like a short. It's gonna be a short haul, like three hundred. 300 to 400 miles, something like that. Maybe even shorter than that. Might be 250. So you're going to be dropping those like every day. You're going to pick it up, you're going to drop it the next day. If you run three of those, that's $2,400 in three days. So what's, what's so bad about that? $2,400 in three days. And you're not even finished. Still got four more days in the week. You run four loads for eight hundred dollars. That's thirty two hundred dollars. I will tell y'all how my week went. My very first load, it paid thirteen hundred. Very first load I did this week, paid thirteen hundred. The second load, it paid seven hundred. The third load, paid eight hundred. The one that I dropped off this morning. Now the fourth load that I got right now, it pays 900. And I'm gonna pick up another load tomorrow that pays $3,000. So that's five loads in, in a week. So I'm, I'm not sure how much that is. Y'all can, can add it up. I don't, I don't worry about the numbers. I just I just run these damn loads. I don't sit at the truck stop and argue about down uh, what load I'm gonna take because I trust my DM, I trust a judgment. She tell me it's a good load, I'ma take it. Not all the time now, cause sometimes I will talk a little shit. But if she tells me, like, hey, this is all I got, and if you don't take this, it might be two, three hours before you get something else, I'ma take it. I ain't about to sit there and waste my damn time. Guess what, gang? We made it. So, so let, uh, hey, let me, I'ma repeat this shit, see? I'ma let y'all add it up. Okay, 1300. Okay, start over. 1300, 700, 800, 900, then 2800. That's that's what we're looking like. I see a spot over there, but it's in front of the fuel island. Damn, I don't know if I can back up in that spot. I have the blind side in there. I ain't about to do that. Might be another one on the end over here. See all these damn drop trailers sitting here? Can't blindside up in there. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna back up. I can get in there. I just gotta pull up in front of this fuel out. Yeah, we, can, we can get in there easy. seen an easier way to get in there. Right here. Back up right here. I could make a spot over here, but I don't feel like nobody knocking on my damn door in the middle of the night saying, hey, move your trip. trailers they got out here taking up all the damn room.
I'm in the hole now. Just gotta line it up right. Get out and look, cause I'm blindsided. Plenty of room to play with. Line side that thing on in there. Last pull up right here, gang. My damn nose sticking out. In there, baby. See these drop trailers? They want to drop trailers and shit. Ah, blind side that thing. Hey, man, I appreciate y'all riding with me tonight, man. I, re I really appreciate it. Y'all want to ride with your boy. Breaker breaker one nine. 69, 25, 38, 20. Hey, I just made them numbers up, man. Appreciate y'all for riding with your boy, man. I made it, man. Y'all see what that shirt say? PNS. Big dogs. Flatbed gang. <laughs>